Let's now turn to Ondo, where the State House of Assembly says it has not in any way suspended the impeachment process against the State Deputy Governor, Loki Aedatiwa. The majority leader of the House said the lawmakers only obeyed the position of the State Chief Judge, Justice Olusegun Odushola, who stepped down the process of setting up a seven-man investigation panel to investigate allegation of gross misconduct against Aedatiwa. Ayode Jimorade, your report, and we'll return with business and sports updates after this report. Stay with us. The Chief Judge of Undo State, Justice Olusha Dushola, stepped down the process of setting up a seven-man investigation panel to investigate allegations of gross misconduct leveled against the Deputy Governor of the State, Loki. Ayedatewa, as of assembly, had written the chief judge asking him to constitute the panel in line with section 188 of the 1999 Constitution of Nigeria as amended. But in the letter to the Speaker of the State as of assembly, Olamide Oladiji, the chief judge cited section 287, subsection 3 of the Constitution as the reason for not acting on the letter from the lawmakers. Justice Udushola said a court order is binding on to set aside either by court or competent jurisdiction or an appellate court. This came amid many protests for and against the impeachment of the deputy governor. But the House of Assembly says it will respect the position of the chief judge and follow provisions of the constitution of the country. And then when you look at the impeachment process and then it has been... The majority leader of the Assembly, Uluwale Ogumola Suyi, said the House will continue with the impeachment process once the court case has been settled. It's an order that, uh, that won't allow him to proceed to constitute the panel. So, the, you know, there is a lot of news out there that they were saying that the uh, State House of Assembly have suspended the impeachment process. We are still on it. He insisted that the impeachment of the deputy governor is not sponsored by the executive arm of government, saying the allegations leveled against Aye Datiwa must be investigated. We need to investigate this matter. To me, I still believe that it's just an allegation and I'm expecting the, uh, the, uh, the Deputy Governor of Ondo State, Honorable Loki Ayedatewa, to come out. There is a 14 allegation against him, leveled against him. He should be able to come out. As it is, the court case must be settled before the lawmakers will continue with the impeachment process. Ayedatewa, Moradeo, TVC News, Akure.